Maca guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here with Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Episode 17, S-Rank Walkthrough. This mission's called Rescue the Intel Agents. Please There's two agents. The They're almost always going to be in the same spot, and as long as you know where they spawn and where to look for them, you can get in and out of this mission pretty quickly. Drop in at the kind of most northern point. Doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you know where the two locations of the enemies are and that you know which order to do them in. Now one of them is going to be injured, which means you have to carry him to exfiltration. That's going to be the one you want to leave for last unless you want to exfiltrate him, send your chopper out, go back for the other one, and then exfiltrate a second time. So I've marked them both on the map right here, and that's where you're going to want to go. There's one that's kind of in the middle of some bushes near a rock. He's hard to see because he's so low to the ground. But if you get in there and know what rock you're looking for, you'll be able to find him huddled up in there. And as soon as you exfiltrate him using the Fulton Extraction, it should trigger a checkpoint for you. So even if you fail your infiltration of the base for the second guy, you shouldn't have much of an issue because you can always just restart your checkpoint, as I ended up doing. So basically, as soon as I land, I'm running using the horse straight to my first agent. Literally, you can get there without being spotted. There's a lot of enemies in a circle around him, but there's kind of a vulnerable spot from where I'm approaching. You can get in, full-time extract him, get out without any of them noticing. Now, as you're running out, I did get spotted. I used my neutralizing gun to take a quick shot at an enemy. You can avoid this by not being as uh, kind of quick as I am to try to get out of this area. Now, after that, after full-time extracting your first agent, you're gonna need to make your way into the large base to find the prisoner. Now finding the prisoner is the hardest part. If you find the document, you can find his exact location. Or if you interrogate some guards, you can also find his exact location. Depending on whether or not you do this at night or during the day, he'll be in slightly different locations, although more or less in the exact same spot. Now what you're gonna wanna do is get into the base and there are these two cages near the biggest hut in the base. Underneath those cages, there's like a wooden plank with a hole dug into the ground and he's actually in that hole so you can't find him with your idroid or with your binoculars unless you basically are on top of him so you can't really scan the base to find out where he is you have to get in the base and know where he is to be able to find him or find that information via document or interrogation all i'm going to be doing is getting into the base like i said the biggest kind of shack in the back with the two cages there's one guard that I'm going to have to neutralize because he kind of patrols. I want to take care of him, and it's because I'm doing it during the day. Um, it's a lot easier to do it that way. I'm going to get in there, neutralize him, grab the target, uh, slowly walk out, make sure I don't get spotted, put the target on the back of the horse, and ride out to exfiltration. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Peace. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. The map has been That's him. That's the target. Extraction. He's injured. Looks half starved, too. There's no way he can stand the shock of a Fulton extraction. Get him out by chopper. Support helicopter Roger. requested. Shouting it at me. And over. And over. Mission Boss, on behalf of all the Diamond 